What a morning. At least I'm home now. I've never seen this kid before in my life. Hi there. Um, hi? So who are you visiting today? Huh? Seriously, who are you here to see? Can't let you in unless you tell me. Um, I live here? No, you don't. I know everybody in the building. I don't know you. Who the hell are you? Jim Birdo. All right, Jim. Where's the regular doorman? Geez, where have you been? He's on strike. He's what? Strike. All the building servicemen in the city are doing it. Union rules or something. I stepped in to help because I know everybody. How come nobody told me? Notices were posted all over the building. I put them up myself. If you lived here, you'd have seen them. Who pays attention to things like that? Well, that's not my problem. Listen, I really live here. Fourth floor, number 4E. 4E? Hmm. Isn't that apartment empty? No! I live there! And I want to go there, thank you very much. Oh. Hmm. Maybe you're telling the truth. He sees reason, thank God. Do you have any ID? A driver's license or something? Yes. I have a driver's license. It's upstairs. In my desk drawer. Crap. <laughs> Come on, this is New York. Who actually drives? True, but I still can't let you in unless you prove you live here. I have my apartment key. Will that do? Sorry, no. That could be any key. Well, let's go upstairs and see if it works. And leave the door unattended? Can't do it. Sorry. Really? I live here. Nice try. I know everyone in this building, and I don't know you. Sorry. I've lived here for five years. Then how come I've never seen you before? I have no idea. Doesn't matter. If you lived here, I'd know you. That's all there is to it. Please, I've had a really tough morning. I need to get home. Sorry, lady. Rules are rules. How long is this strike going to last? I don't know. Could be a couple hours or a couple days. Depend on whether they reach a settlement or not. I don't know the details. Okay, I have no ID and you don't know me. What can I do to prove that I live here? Hmm. Well, can anyone in the building vouch for you? I'm not sure. I mean, I don't really know anybody here. How long have you lived here again? Be quiet. Not all of us are social butterflies. Okay, whatever. Hey, what about Nishanti Sharma? He could vouch for you. Who is this Nis... uh, Nish... Nishanti. Nishanti Sharma. He lives in 4F. You know, right next door to 4E. You really don't get out much, do you? Your point? Nothing, but I'm sure she could vouch for you. Great, call her up. She's not here. Of course she isn't, so I gotta wait here all day for her. You might have to. Although, she usually goes to Washington Square Park in the mornings. You can look for her there. So, let me get this straight. You want me to go all the way to the park to look for a woman who might be there, and if she recognizes me, then, and only then, I'll be granted the privilege of entering my own home? That's pretty much it, yeah. This is really stupid. I'm not the one who forgot my ID. I'll be back. See you around. Washington Square. It's been a while since I've been here. Still looks the same, I guess. Although the dog park is empty, I wonder why. Please note, dog walking park is closed until further notice. Hmm. Now I'm getting a stress headache. I need to get home. He's wearing one of those extendable leashes. I don't think so. The dog's leash is tied to the trash can. That's her.
I recognize her from my building. Nishanti... Sharma, was it? This is gonna be awkward. Uh, excuse... I can't do it. I can't just barge up to her. Not in front of all those people. They're all staring. All right, here I go. Um, um, uh, no. Okay, that didn't go so well. I just need to work myself up to it. Okay, you can do this. Right. Um, crap. Calm down. Need to calm down. I don't think so. Oh, for heaven's sake. Don't worry, Moti. I'm coming. There. All better. I can't take you anywhere, can I? Oh, it's you! The lady next door! Yeah, hi. Rhonda, isn't it? No, Rosangela. Well, Rosangela. I hope my friend here hasn't been giving you any trouble. Oh, no, no. No trouble. Now don't go defending him. You'll just spoil him. Sorry. Anyway, I don't think we've formally met. I'm Nishanti. Rosangela. So you said. Oh, right. Um... Yes? I have a strange favor to ask. Go ahead and ask. What are neighbors for? You know that building servicemen strike? Yes. Jim Birdo is covering, isn't he? Yeah, that's the problem, see? He doesn't recognize me. Oh? Oh. So you need me to vouch for you? Yeah, I know this is pretty stupid. Don't worry about it. Moti is getting a little cranky anyway. Let's get you home. Thanks. Mm. Are you all right? I'm fine. I just need to get home. All right. Let's keep walking. Hello, Jim. Hey, Miss Sharma. Jim, this is Rose Angela. She lives here. He does? Okay. Sorry about earlier. Had to be sure. Well, now you're sure. And you must be so proud of yourself. Well... Never mind. Just get out of my way. Well, here we are. Yes. Finally. That stupid kid. Well, perhaps. But try not to be so hard on him. We're all neighbors, after all. Yeah, I guess. Looks like somebody's hungry. I'd best get this spoiled puppy fed. Feel free to drop in any time you want. Really? Yes, really. I know we New Yorkers don't usually talk to our neighbors, but who cares? The city can be a lonely place, especially when you live alone. I've got Moti. Who do you have? Look, I know what you're saying, but I don't need anyone to look out for me. I'm fine. Oh, I'm sure, no doubt. Although your episode in the park tells me otherwise. And your eyes. Well, let's just say the offer stands. Sure. You go home now. We'll see each other soon, Rose Angela, I'm sure. Hey. Yes? Um, you can call me Rosa, if you like. Rose Angela is kind of a mouthful, you know. All right, Rosa. You have a good day now. What a strange lady. Home. Thank God. I've never been so happy to see a 500 square foot room in my life. 
Ugh.